Hello everyone, this is Mega Amster, and welcome back to the Shantae and the Pirate's Curse Amps Plays. File Explorer, what the hell. Okay, so this is part 6. Last time in part 5, we actually... Uh, we started exploring... Ugh, we started exploring Spiderweb Island, and we rescued Roddy Tops from the Spiderweb. And we went through that whole section of just the non-stop running and all those enemies and stuff... And, yeah, we did... What did we do before that? We went... Uh, we didn't really do much before the, um... Did we get the travel brochure? You know, we might have gotten the travel brochure. I think we did that. That could be part four. I could be wrong. But I think it was part five we did it. But, yeah, you know, it was part five, wasn't it? I don't know. I'll check later. But, either way, here we are. We saved right here last time, of course. Like, right after that big section. Oh, we got a cackle bat. Now, see... I want to destroy it, but we can't destroy it yet. Um, what's in here? Hungry, hungry. Okay, well, we can't go in there yet. So we gotta keep moving. So I guess this section's not even over yet. This music's pretty good. Okay, here we go. And here's our house. We can just drop her off. There we go. Just in time. Just in time. My hero. Yo, sis, what's with the peeled shrimp? Unless she's here for dinner, she should turn tail and hit the bricks. Abner, it's some big brother you are. Can't you see she's injured? Looks fine to me. What? Hehe, <laughs> what a ride! Roddy Tops? Tops? You dirty double-crossing... Hey. <laughs> Shante, is it? I've got something I've been meaning to say. I ain't too good at making friends, but you've been good to me and Paul, my sis here. It's just that pirate gal is a real way of getting into your head and making you hear what you want to hear. Guess I'm trying to apologize for some bad calls in the past. <laughs> Teaming up with that risky boot was the dumbest thing I ever did. Oh, well, that's okay. Poe and little Rod is here, all I got left of whatever life I once had. I can't remember much else. But you always make her smile, and I gotta be grateful for that. Wow, I don't know what to say. Forget it, we're square. Where the devil's Poe? He ain't been back in a while. He was supposed to fix my wagon so we could skip that creepy forest. Well, if either of you sees him, tell him to check in or I'm gonna get peeved. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, heart squid. One good thing about the house is that heart squid. But yeah, so he brought Roddy Hops home, of course. And uh, if you've played Risky's Revenge, you notice the coffee maker. Um, for some reason, they like coffee. Uh, who knows why. Um, but, yeah, apparently. I mean, I like coffee, too. I don't blame them. Coffee's good. I'm drinking some right now. Okay. And now we're back to the actual game. Now, we can't go anymore right here. That's the farthest right you can go. So, uh, once we get an item, we can actually... Oh, never mind. We can do that now? Really? Oh, there's Poe. I gotta do, like, a really stupid voice for him. Poe, your brother sent me to find you. Hey, you're the coffee banshee. I remember you. Genie. Half genie. Well, former half genie. Thanks, whatever you are. I was scavenging for wagon parts when I got stuck in here. You like to help people in need, right? How about taking a look at it? I'm no mechanic, but sure, I guess. Follow me, the wagon's this way. This is all that's left of our wagon. These wheels I can repair no problem. But that axle will never run smoothly again without some squid oil. Ah, uh -huh. And this island doesn't seem to have any squids on it. Hmm. Well, lucky for us. What's his face? Uh, the Squid Baron gave a squid oil last part. Oh yeah, that was last part because we gave him the travel brochure and he gave a squid oil. Boom. It's a fetch quest is what it is. Oh, you have squid oil? Is that for me? Yeah, go ahead. Excellent. Ever since we split off from the zombie caravan, we've been in short supply. I can have this fixed in a jiffy. You gave squid oil? Nice. Oof. He's a quick one. He may be dumb, but he's a quick one. And there we go. Now that actually allows us to travel quickly between the two different areas of Spiderweb Island. Hey, you're pretty amazing, Poe. Thank you, lady. What do you say we take her for a test drive? It could get a little dangerous, just saying. Yeah, why not? You sure Roddy won't mind? It's no problem. Just remember to hold on tight. Oh, no. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, my friend. Wow, she handles beautifully. I couldn't have done it without you, lady. Here. You got the shriveled thing? Ew. <laughs> That's disgusting. It smells. <laughs> That's like Undertale level of humor. How sweet. I'll cherish it always, but what exactly is it? What, don't you like it? No, no, it's great. It's from a dead guy. 
Ugh. I'll be around in case you ever need a ride. See ya. Okay. Well, that's kind of gross. But yeah, now we have a shriveled up thing from a dead guy. That's always nice. Oh yeah, we should should we uh should we tell uh, Abner that we saw Poe? Are we supposed to tell him anything? You found Poe. You're all right, girl. Okay, no, never mind. Okay. Yeah, they didn't really say anything meaningful, so we can head back. We're gonna be heading into the second dungeon pretty soon. We might even be starting in this part. We could we could definitely start it now, but I want. Is there any other places to explore? Can we get up there? Oh, oh. I was kind of thinking if we get up there. Can we get up there right now? We might not be able to get up there right now. Can I? I can't jump like that. Hold on. Oh nope. Come on, I'm gonna try to jump. Nope. Let's try again. Third time's the charm. No. Okay. You know, screw it. I'll just I'll do it later. But there's either a cacobat or a heart squid up there. But there was that cacobat over here. Let me go get that guy. Um, before that's that's actually the entrance to the dungeon, I believe. So let's take care of this cacobat first, obviously, because a cacobat, we gotta take him out, just like that. And we'll suck up the dark magic, of course. If you're wondering what that noise is, by the way, that's me drinking coffee out of my thermos. <laughs> gotta love coffee. I'm not a zombie. Don't worry. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to say sniff. Moldy, moldy leftovers. Hungry. Feed a shriveled thing. Stick your hand through. Oh, I would not want to do that. More. Bring more delicious things inside. Okay. Well, I believe this is the entrance to the dungeon. Let's check it out. Yes, it is. Okay, Cackle Tower. This is the second dungeon in this game. And we probably won't finish it in this part. I mean, that'd be really cool if we could, but we probably won't. It's probably going to be a little longer than the Spittle Maze was, but we can still try. Um, we can always just get to the save point right before the boss. You know, that's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll see. If we beat it, you know, even better. Okay, so these blocks can be destroyed. If we can... Oh, no, never mind, they can't. Okay, some of them can... Um, I think it depends on the color of them, maybe? I'm trying to remember from Risky's Revenge, there were color blocks like these that you could destroy. But I guess these ones you can. Okay. Gotta look up out for the collapsible ceiling. Oh, we got the skeletons. It's a bunch of sands everywhere. Actually, no, wait. These sands? Okay, it's, it's pretty, they're pretty much Hammer Brothers is what they are. And they can be kind of annoying if you can't defeat them right away. I didn't even see that coming. What? Okay, I guess you can't go through those platforms. Sands. Well, I feel like the walking full-body skeletons are more like papyrus, and then the other ones look like the heads of sands. I guess that would technically be what it is. What? What? Oh, jeez, these guys can come off the platforms, too. That's actually kind of scary. These guys, the guys with the, the throw the bones, you want to destroy quickly because if you don't, they're just gonna throw their bones at you, and it's gonna hurt like that. So the quicker you destroy them, the better. See, there's this strategy. Don't worry, this strategy. <laughs> okay. Cool. We have a save room already. That was pretty soon. I mean, obviously we're not at the boss yet. Wait, there's something though. But yeah, we'll save. I like to save a lot just in case something screws up, you know. Okay, we got an area up above. We've got a locked door. Oh, I remember this. You have to like turn on the generator somehow, right? Hmm, this looks like something from Uncle's workshop, but it doesn't appear to have power. Yeah, we need to give it power. I believe both the left and the right side of the. Oh no, yeah, I think we have to light up all three lights. Let's try going left first. See what happens. We got these bat enemies. Oh yeah, we got those new potted plant guys, okay. Can I not go up there? Okay. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do something quick. I'm just gonna plug in my charger. Cause I'm afraid that the battery might die out on us, and that would not be fun. Um Just in case, you know? Solves on the recording, stops in the middle, you're just like, ah, oh, what the hell. There we go. We're about halfway through the part. Cool. Um, let's get back into this. So we got these new potted plant dudes. Uh, I forget what their attack actually is because I defeated them too quickly to even notice. But... Whatever. Ooh, treasure. 
I'm checking just in case if there are like secret passages. There sometimes are. I'd say it's more prevalent in Risky's Revenge, but I mean... Oh, well, we can't go over there, obviously. Um, so we're going to need to head around. We're actually going to need um, the item in this dungeon. I believe it's... Wait, no, that's... Okay, let's try going right. I think... I'm trying to remember which item it is. I think I know which one it is. Um, it should allow us to cross that gap, so we're probably going to need to head this way first. Uh-oh. Yeah, look out for that bone guy. They kind of throw it up in an arc, too, so if you're standing, like, right next to them, it might be easy to avoid them, since they're throwing it, like, over your head, because they have no sense of direction. So, like, the closer you are to them, honestly, the better. And there we go. Oh! Oh, yeah, these weird things, okay. Okay, these guys can be kind of hard. You gotta be careful with these guys. They have, like, the, the ball and chain. And they can be kind of difficult to... Uh, whoa! Okay, yeah. Gotta be almost done. There we go. I don't know what you would call those enemies, but... We got a key. Nice. Now, we had the locked door up in the main room earlier, so we can go unlock that door. Yeah. Say, so, do enemies respawn? Maybe they don't. Which kind of stinks if you if you need, like, items or treasure or something. You know? Okay. Oh, this part. Okay, this part's a little weird. Pretty much, yeah, you get sucked by these weird things. You can uh, input a direction. The green ones allow you to choose what direction you want to travel in. Um, so, like, for example, do that, go up, that's obviously not going to do anything. Can't get whatever up, whatever's up there. Um, looks like we're going to need to head over here. Okay. Yeah, those guys are a little weird, but the green ones you can input whatever direction you want to go in, but I believe the red ones are automatic, so you can't do anything about that. Uh-oh, crumbling ceiling. Gotta look out for that. You can kind of tell which one's tile are going to fall off. They're a, sorry about that. They're a little darker than the normal tiles on the ceiling, so you can kind of tell. I'm going to get this treasure back. <laughs> Maybe that was a bad idea. I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Oh, nice. Looking good. Okay. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. I said nope. Nope. Oh, oh, man, the treasure. Ah, whatever. I got one piece of it, but the other piece... I got one piece, but the other piece... Fell off. Oh, I look out for the seal. Apparently the treasure was one piece. And yes, that was supposed to be a one piece. A joke. But it didn't work, because I haven't watched much one piece. I've tried to watch like the first, what, like 10, 15 episodes? On like Hulu or whatever, and then they stopped being in English. And I'm like, what the hell is this? They had, like, episodes 1 through 10 or 1 through 15 in English, and then they went up to, like, episode, like, 300, and I'm like, what? And, like, all the other ones were in, like, Japanese. I'm like, oh, man. I don't even think they were... They weren't even subbed. I don't think they had subtitles. Okay. So here we go. Now, these ones are automatic. Oh, nice, the map. That will help. At some point, I gotta go back and save and end the part off. I don't know if we're gonna finish it. Oh, yeah, see, this is a really big dungeon. I highly doubt we're going to finish it in this part. Like, I highly doubt it. That'd be pretty cool, but I kind of doubt it. Um, cool, so we can uh, go over here and check this area out. Okay, I haven't been down there because I can't be down there. Okay. Once we get... Okay, well, you don't want to fall down because this is it's the vertical shaft, so if you fall down, you're kind of screwed. Um, down there is where the generator was in the, from before, um, but obviously we don't want to go down that far, but you can just keep going up. Um, okay. Oh, jeez. So yeah, this is a much longer dungeon than the Spittle Maze. I expect the dungeons to be more of this length than, um, than the Spittle Maze one. The Spittle Maze one was really short. I don't know if I'd say Zelda long dungeons. Obviously not like the 3D games like 
Twilight Princess has like two hour long dungeons if you like explore everything. Wind Waker got pretty long, um, Ocarina of Time did as well. And Majora's Mask, all the 3D ones. I mean, I can't really say anything about Skyward Sword because I actually haven't played... What? <laughs> I actually haven't even played Skyward Sword yet. That's a, pretty much the only main 3D Zelda game I haven't played. Well, of course, Breath of the Wild as well, but I mean... That doesn't come out yet. Okay. What happens if it go up? Nothing. Okay, I've got to head over here. Let's try this. Oh. Uh, just like trapped here pretty much. Oh no, we can shoot that. Now we can go back down. I guess we gotta head over here. What? No, okay, now we can't. Nice. Oh, we can go up here. There we go. I don't know what's going on. Okay. What happens if we go in here? Ah, it's, okay, that was dumb. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Don't go in there, actually. We can't go in here. See, here's a secret passage. Get some... You know, get some... Uh, treasure, that's always good. Okay. Shoot the switch. Open whatever that was. Up. Nice, we can go here grab some treasure, that's always good, and we can head up here, oh, there's a hard squid over there, but I don't know how to get to it, oh, see those, we need to hit those things, those weird switch looking generator things, we gotta do that, okay, where are we now, oh, we're even higher up on the shaft now, jeez, whoa, what was that, <laughs> that did not look good, whoa, okay, it's just like a special effect, I guess it's raining out there, can we head down, or am I not going to be able to head back up? No, I could do it, right? I haven't been in here yet. Oh, nice, it's a save room. It's always good. Probably going to end the part off pretty soon. There's no way we're finishing this dungeon. Um, in time. You know, I think that's the item, so you know, we can go get the item right now, and then we'll save and I'll uh, end the part. How's that? That should be pretty good. Oh, got some enemies. Wow, these, these, these guys are fast. That's the main reason why they're tough, is they're really fast, and a lot of times they fall off the ledges like that. Okay. Oh, we got this potted plant, dude. Is a, is a ball and chain guy gonna show up? Nope. What are these blob things? So we got, of course, we got like an enemy gauntlet right here. There was a whole dungeon in Risky's Revenge based around this. Even though it wasn't really a dungeon, it was just like an enemy gauntlet. Um, well, you know, whatever. Okay. Can't head up there. So we need to... Do this. Oh, okay. Whatever works. Okay, and this should be the item. Nice, it is. Okay. So, of course, as you saw in the first dungeon, we got the pistol. Now we have the hat. So pretty much, uh, what is it, the left trigger? Or is it the right trigger? It's the right trigger on the 360 controller. Um, it pretty much allows you to just kind of like glide. Like Think of like Knuckles from Sonic 3 Knuckles. Similar to that. Or maybe, maybe a better comparison would be like the... Uh, well, what is it from uh, Wind Waker? The what's it called? This the thing that you get from the uh, the Deku the Deku tree or whatever that like leaf sail thing that you use to glide. You know you know what I'm talking about? Crap, I can't remember the name. It's just called like the Deku leaf. It might just be called the Deku leaf, but it's it's very similar to that. Okay, that's it. this part's a little short, but you know what? I'm just gonna end it off here. Uh, we're 19 minutes in. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. But yeah, that's it for this part, guys. Um, we'll definitely be finish, finishing the dungeon next part. And going from there, I mean... You know? Nothing else to say. It's just we're going to finish it off next part. So I'll see you guys then. And... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't even think of a good... I, can't, I need to think of good ways to end off parts. You know what? Well, I'm too tired to think about that. So, bye.